प्रभु तव मूर्ति विनोदकारी पल पन विसरे नहीं जो विसारी जुगल चरण सोल चिन्ह जे ह नजर समी पे रहो अमारी ए नजर समी पे रहो अमारी ए कंशाम महाराज नीजे हरि कृष्ण महाराज नीजे स्वामी नारायण भगवान नीजे सुप्रीम ओम मायरी our beloved Gansha Maharaj. <clears throat> the path maker to our liberation, our Puja dear Guruji, Jisanto, and all of you Bhaktos, Jai Swami Narayan. In the ancient scriptures, in Hinduism, may it be the Vedas, Purans, Ityas, so on and so forth. And even in the scriptures in, that were developed in the time of Bhagavan Swami Narayan, there's only one essence that comes out, and is that that one cannot reach the divine abode of Bhagavan. One cannot understand how great Bhagavan is. One cannot destroy one's vows, one's natures without this one element. With this one element, everything is possible. And without this one element, nothing is possible. The more and more one understands how important this element is that will be revealed soon the more and more one will be able to go closer and closer to Maharaj just like how if a baby was given a hundred dollar bill it will not understand the value of that hundred dollar bill until it grows up and understands the how the world works and someone informs that baby now child maybe even a teenager that this is one hundred dollar bill you can buy this 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 with this so keep it safe in your wallet then only does that teenager realize and understand that this is very important in the same way this one element in Bhagwan Swami Narayan's Sampradaya is the most important of all and that is Sant Samagam. Bhagwan Swami Narayan illustrates, narrates and emphasizes Sant Samagam. What is Sant Samagam? Sant meaning saint and Samagam meaning association. To be associate with a Sant to associate with a true saint is the most important and vital element in excelling, progressing, and attaining Bhagwan Swami Narayan's Akshradam. Sadguru Gunatitanan Swami says in his Vato that I have never seen, till this day, I have never seen a person go to the divine abode of Akshradam without the association of a sadhu. That's how important and vital this one factor is. And we would like to take a look at some charitras and how important this one element is so that we can also get closer to this element and we can start to associate with such a sadpurush to excel in the spiritual life. Swami Narayan Hare. Sadasivubai of Kambat was a wealthy man. He built a seven-story 
carved wooden haveli, meaning a mansion, himself. When the work was done, he went to Vartal. As luck would have it, Goparan Swami was in Vartal as well. So, he asked Swami to come and bless his haveli, meaning as it was a tradition. This is called a padramni. When something new was built or when you got a new home, what the tradition was and now still is, is that devotees would uh, call santos, very high santos, spiritual santos, pious saints, to come and you know, purify that place. May it be a home, may it be a store, may it be a business, so on and so forth. So, so that's you went there to uh, Vartal where Sadhguru Gopan Swami was residing. And he humbly asked Swami that, Swami, please come to my mansion. I've built it and uh, I would like you to come and, you know, purify it. Gopan Swami knew what was to happen in the future because Sadhguru Gopan Swami was a very highly spiritualized sadhu. You know, in this time right now, currently in this age, if we were to even speak in such a fashion where, you know, there was, there was and there is such kind of saints of Bhagwan Swami Narayan on this earth who could see the past, present and future, then someone might criticize or even call us crazy. But that's where faith plays a role. That's where science and the mind are put to the side. Sometimes we don't understand that in science, they, some may say that how could a saint look at the past, present, and future? How is it possible? But faith is a factor where it strictly goes on blind faith, believing without even seeing it. And in Bhagwan Swaminarayan's Sampradaya, in Bhagwan Swaminarayan's religion, it's all about faith and nothing about science or evidence. And only when that faith is instilled and stable, then only is evidence provided. That's just how Bhagwan Swaminarayan operates. So saying that, <clears throat> Gopan Swami knew what was to happen in the future. So he said, Sadasiu, we'll talk about your opening later. First stay here a few days and listen to, to our discourses. So Swami, instead of you know, uh, giving him a date and saying, you know, uh, I'll come to your home in four days or next week, whatnot, Swami said, why don't you stay here a little bit with me and let's just, uh, you know, perform sansamagam, listen to my talks a little bit, and then we'll go afterwards. So Swami didn't say no, but Swami had a different plan for him because he had already seen what was to happen. So that say was honored by Swami's wish. Gopan Swami would talk of Sank every day. Sank is believing that everything is to be destroyed, vanish one day. Everything will be completely um, destroyed by time or by any other element. It doesn't matter. So one should not attach oneself to anything. May it be a mansion, may it be a car, may it be a person, may it be any kind of materialistic object, so on and so forth. So Swami started to talk about this very principle. This principle is very uh, high in uh, the scriptures. It's, uh, it cannot be comprehended alone, but it can only be comprehended via a sant. And even in Bhagwan Swami Narayan's Vachnam Rudra Middle Chapter 13, Bhagwan Swami Narayan says that one cannot comprehend the the 
principles of the sastras by one by just merely reading only when a satpurush manifests on this earth and one hears those same talks same principles from the satpurush one is able to understand and comprehend these talks so swami started talking about every day that this world itself is perishable we bring nothing to this world and take nothing when we leave so no matter how much suffering or loss comes our way we should think of it as god's wish and stay happy see what san samagam does is it keeps one's mind stable because this whole world has more downs than more ups if we get a car it's bound to get into an accident if we uh get rich the wrong way then we're bound to get caught and go to jail so on and so forth there's so many downs more than ups in this world that the common soul the common jeev the common person to put it simply cannot bear the stress and tension of this world so as we see here and understand that there's many many factors and elements of people committing suicide and uh people hurting themselves and doing drugs and drinking alcohol all these options are taken to r- try to relieve that stress tension pain misery so on and so forth but that solution is so weak that solution is so temporary that it just vanishes and one stays miserable one's whole life due to that factor only when one associates with the true ekantik satpurush does one realize the true nature of this world the true nature of one's self and the true nature of god and one when one realizes these three elements then only does one become happy and here gopan swami's objective was to keep sadasiyo's mind stable and his heart happy because a sant only gives compassion a sant only gives happiness a sant only helps those who are in need the most a sant is there when no one else is there a sant is there when you have nowhere to go such kind of an element bhagwan swaminarayan has put on this earth where if you do something to the sant if you double cross this sant if you if you betray him and then you realize your mistake and you come back this element in the form of a satpurush is always there to take you back just like how a mother takes her child back no matter how much it has misbehaved a sant is in the form of a mother and the very very we can say fortunate part of our life is that we have received a mother in the form of our puja guruji his life is something that one cannot comprehend his life is something to cherish yet for this small human mind this brain it is not possible to exactly fathom how truly great he is even by even with living even by living with him we we feel something different yet we cannot ex- ex- we cannot explain or describe what is different about him but such kind of a sant plays a role and sadguru gopan swami 
was playing this role even in that time for the sake of one Hari Bhagat so that his soul stays at peace his mind stays stable and nothing else happens to him nevertheless Swami continued never be upset whatever God does he does for everyone's benefit such kind of sentences are very simple but if we think about it in this world who speaks these kinds of sentences who puts these words into a sentence all these words are there and may it be in this language of english may it be in gujarati or may it be in any language words are words but putting them in a certain order and 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 seeing it in the for, in seeing it from the vision of a sadpurush if a regular person says the same sentence it would not affect a person but if it was said by a sant a true sant in ekandik sadpurush the same very sentence with that same order of words then that whole soul becomes transformed that's why this element is very very important and vital in one's life if we ask ourselves truly honestly in our heart <clears throat> how much have i been associating with my satpurush at what degree have i been associating with him why am i not getting the fruits i should be all these questions will be answered if you ask yourself is it the satpurush's fault or is it the soul's fault the jew saying that we're here today to correct our mistake and what's going wrong the importance of the uh, association of a satpurush that's one factor and if we have received a satpurush may it be in the form of our guruji or any other satpurush then why are we not able to get the fruits that we're supposed to why the and the the, the very fruits of associating with the satpurush according to satguru gunatitanan swami is that one feels very very cool one's heart is at peace always and the second factor is one is able to see bhagwan swami narayan's murti which is a very 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 rare element entity which is not possible for mere regular humans to even comprehend but it is possible through attaining the rajipo of a of a true sant meaning the fruits of associating with the sant is these two factors that i mentioned before listening to these talks for 7 days straight sadasyo bhai became firm in his knowledge of the world's the world is temporary and god to be the all doer on the seventh day gopan swami gave him a note the note had come to swami a few days ago and in the note was news that sadashiv bhai's haveli meaning mansion had been burnt to the ground now swami was sitting there and a couple of days back probably a letter came and what swami did was he tucked the letter underneath where he sat he didn't inform sadashiv sadashiv bhai right away because he knew that he sadashiv bhai was not ready to receive this news because he was very excited about his whole mansion that he had built he wanted swami to come he wanted santos and devotees to come so i mean even in this world if someone um opens or buys a new house then think about how much excited they would be to call santos and thakur ji for padramni with hari bhaktos to do bhakti yagna and so on and so forth in the same way sadashiv bhai was in this situation 
But Swami knew that if I do not completely implement these two principles of the world being temporary and God to be the all-doer, then there is no way that he would be able to take or bear the news and he would become unstable and he would become very hurt and may he even may lose faith in God. So all these factors were in this the scenario. So Swami waited. We can see Swami's patience here as well. Swami waited. And after a couple of days went by, and Swami knew and looked into the heart of Sadasivai, he knew that he was ready to receive the news. So he takes the, the note out, and we continue on. Sadasivai read the note, but he did not feel the slightest bit of pain. This was a reaction. Swami, he said, through your discourses, you have already burned down the Haveli in my heart. If that had ha if that if that had not happened, I would have burned to death with the Haveli. Meaning he was bound to this mansion. His soul was bound to this mansion. Just like that, right now, our soul is bound to Maya. Our soul is bound to these worldly pleasures. Our soul is bound to our family and friends and and our, our luxuries in our homes and so on and so forth who's going to break that for us who's going to show us the true way back to God and it's that one factor that we've been talking about is the Akantik Sat Purush the more one performs Sant Samagam the more one understands the intention of such a Sant the more one gets closer and attaches one's heart with such a sant, the more the vasna maya becomes close, closer and, or further and further away from oneself. One cannot understand how it's done because it's not in the capacity of the human mind, but it's kind of like magic. Magic in the fashion where if one starts to associate and one examines oneself, one sobhav before and after associating with such a sant, if one examines oneself, one sobhav, then without even us knowing, it disappears. And there's two reasons for that. Number one is because of the sant samagam, the discourses of the sant. And number two, a factor that one cannot see, that sant prays for us. He performs mara, dandwats, so on and so forth. Things that we see him doing may be just normal with his body, using his body and doing mara or pradakshina or dandwat and so on and so forth. But those types of bhakti are intended to help this one soul out or numerous souls out and due to that that soul excels and that soul so bows are destroyed this is the power of kathavarta and sansamagam the discourses that were heard by sadasivai were very simple but sadguru gopan swami's greatness sadguru gopan swami's eliteness sadguru gopan swami's highly spiritualized level of you can say his, his discourses sadasiva was able to comprehend and his heart was not even the slightest hurt by this very factor so this is the importance of sansamagam it's very highly stressed that if one cannot do mara if one cannot perform dandvat, if one cannot do anything, even seva, it, it's not going to damage one's, you can say, spiritual level, or it's not going to take, it's not going to let us, uh, you know, stop us from going to akshradham. But, for sure, if we have not associated with such a satpurush, if we have not joined ourselves with such a satpurush, 
if we have not attained the rajipo of such a, such a sadpurush then there is no guarantee of akshardham and that is proven by sadguru gunatitan swami and also the vachnamrut as well so if everything else if everything else cannot be done it's no problem but if one associates with the sadpurush then everything is possible so with this short simple message we are very fortunate that we have the association of such a sadpurush here in the form of our puja guruji it's highly highly recommended that all of you who are listening all of you who will listen this is not an ordinary individual that we have received and remember that this human body all human bodies that come on this earth have a certain time you can say span life span and then once they go away they never come back so i think you can understand what this message is about so time is running out so one should understand this factor and start to associate with such a satpurush saying this my humble jay swaminarayan